All right, so we're here at uh, Mohana Lodge in Papete, Tahiti. It's pretty early. It's like 5.57. I'm surprised you guys are up. <laughs> what's your names? Uh, I'm Alana. I'm Dan. And what cities are you from? Uh, near London for me, just outside in the countryside in the UK. And how about you? Barnstable. Yeah, what's the closest airport? Bristol. Oh, okay, Three good. Hours <laughs> Three hours away. Three hours? Yeah. What was the closest airport uh, last year or two years ago? Exeter. How far away was that? Two. Oh, but it was still pretty yeah. far. I'm surprised you guys are up so early. We've been living on boats for a while, so <laughs> we're used to going up when the sun's up. Like, what time did you wake up today? I was about five. Five-ish? Yeah. Yeah. Four fifty. Oh, okay, nice. Not just to beat you by ten minutes. Yeah, I'm always up. <laughs> Is this natural, or are you having an alarm clock? <laughs> no. All natural. All natural. Oh, okay, yeah. nice. <laughs> Hey, so can you explain to me where did you start from and how long has it taken you to get to Tahiti? Uh, well, we started in Valencia. Okay, Valencia, uh, Spain. About the end of November, got mm -hmm. a boat across the Atlantic from the Canaries. Okay. It took about a month. Arrived in Antigua, flew across to Panama City, and then we were on a sailboat again from Panama City to the Marquesas, mm. and that took about 27 days, so mm, okay. been about three months ago at the moment, and we'll be able to eat it. Wow, and you're going to spend how long in French Polynesia? We are going to spend our full allowed three months. Oh, okay, nice. Wow. Visa. And uh, can you tell me how many people were working on the first boat from Canaries to Antigua? The first boat was five of us, and the second was four. All right, and how do you like working on boats now? <laughs> um, I'm done for now. Oh, okay. But it was an amazing experience. It's just, yeah, it's quite intense being in a boat. Are you finished your boat work now? Um, or you're so the twist is that we might buy a little boat. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are finished our jobs We're now. finished, yeah. Oh, okay. We're going to be on land in Tahiti for a, three. a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. And then we're at, and yeah, over the last couple of days, <laughs> we've been teasing the idea of buying a boat ourselves. You can buy a boat here, no problem? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then where would you sail to? New Zealand, but via all the other South Pacific Islands. Oh, so you think you got enough experience now to do it yourself? You hope so after two months. <laughs> yeah, we've seen a lot. We've had some really good experiences. Yeah. Oh, okay. We've seen a lot of how yeah. our ocean passages work and mm, okay. what to do in different conditions. So mm. we're thinking about it. Are you going to hire a deckhand? No. All <laughs> ourselves. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. And New Zealand will be the end destination. Yeah, New Zealand. Oh, well, that'll be good. You'll have done a complete circuit. Well, um, not the whole world. But yeah, <laughs> half of the world. <laughs> half the world's probably enough for now. Yeah, that's good for you, because the rest of the... I don't know, isn't Cape Horn really difficult? Yeah, that's... A lot of people go up through yeah. the sewers and stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's easier because it's less waves and stuff, less storms. It's, yeah, it's just storms. Yeah. yeah, okay. When you're finished two missions, that's good. <laughs> Did both of you get seasick? I got a bit worse on the first passage. Oh, okay. Yeah. The second passage was fine because that was a catamaran. But... It was the first one a little smaller? Uh, yeah, it was a mono hull. So catamarans are actually easier? Way more... Stable? Um, stable, yeah. Is there any exciting stories you can think of? Pitch polling in a stall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which is where the boat flips, for, like, you've heard of capsizing, but pitch polling is when you flip forward. Oh, that's what it, it's called pitch? Pitch pole. Pitch pole. Mm -hmm. And it flipped over forward? No, it didn't. It didn't. But this was like, yeah, we all had to run down and pull the sail out there because it was. Oh, okay. Oh, so the pole fell forward. So the set, this, like, big downwind sail was unfurling. Oh, okay. In a school. Yeah. Which meant that it would have caught the wind and powered up. Okay. And it would have the Forward. Yeah. Oh, wow, well, okay. Yeah. So that's one of the that's dangers. Exactly. <laughs> and probably on our first crossing, our captain was putting out the fish, catching fish almost every day, and 
had this huge tuner on the line and he was putting it in, pulled it over the back, got it in the boat and as he was holding the tuner down to take the hook out, the hook slipped. One hook, there was a three hooks bar, one hook in his index finger, one hook in his bum. Oh. And it was stuck in there and it took him about 45 minutes to rip it out. Oh man. Blood everywhere. <laughs> That was Christmas Day. Oh, that that's was Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's pretty challenging. But he was a professional captain, right? Yeah, he'd worked on boats along with his girlfriend. They both worked on boats for years and years. Oh, and okay. Bought this boat to set and navigate. So uh, were they British too, or where were they from? Yeah, yeah. they were. He was from Guernsey. Oh, okay. And she was from London. Oh, okay, nice. You actually went to Antigua, and then from there you flew to Panama. Yeah, we wanted to sail the whole way, and especially explore the Caribbean islands. We yeah. across to Panama and explore Panama and Central America for a bit. But no. we were just looking online and found this opportunity to get across the Pacific, which is where we wanted to go to. So yeah, all right. that's what we go for it. And what was the name of the website that you told me you found the job on? Crew Bay. It's not a paying job, it's just exchange? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we contributed a bit to food and fuel, mm, okay. and then you do a shift, or a yeah. couple of shifts a day. You cook, you clean, and then they take you halfway around. Is someone awake every part of the night? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. We were doing three crew were sharing four hours on, eight hours off. Constantly, so I'm Alright, great. Well, thanks a lot for the information. Now, maybe I'll check it out too. <laughs> so, if I want a job to actually do it, then I have to switch from Crew Bay to a different website, huh? Uh, no, you can get paid jobs from Crew Bay, I think. Oh, you can? Oh, good. Yeah, you might be better off with like charter agencies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we'll see. Maybe I'll do a chart in like maybe a week. <laughs> From island. Yeah, like island to island, like in the Caribbean or something. Yeah. <laughs> that says this market looks like Hungary, yeah? <laughs> Sassy board for yeah. How many do you want? I'm just passing through and I bumped into this guy. We saw him getting off the airplane yesterday. So what's yeah. your name? My name is Simon. And where you come from? I'm from Denmark. I was in uh, LA for two days, and now I'm uh, I'm here in Tahiti for a three month <laughs> trip on uh, on a boat. Which airline did you take from Europe? I took SS, SS, and then I took uh, Delta Airline from uh, LA to Papeete. Oh, you took SAS all the way to LA? Yeah, direct. Oh, okay, nice. From Hagen, yeah. So you're actually staying here three months? Yeah. Wow, that's a long time. <laughs> so what's your itinerary? You're gonna stay here for Papeete a couple days, and then what? Yeah, I'm staying here in Papit for uh, two days and then I'm going to Maria okay. for five days and then I'm coming back here uh, before I take the flight to uh, Vigoa. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's where your sailing journey starts? Yeah, exactly. Wow, how long is that going to be? Yeah, we're sailing for three months all the way from the north of Mekesas and then back here to Papit. Oh, okay. Do you know sailing already? No, it's my first time. Oh, yeah. wow, that's going to be exciting. <laughs> yeah, never dived and never sailed before. So. Oh, okay. Where did you find this sailing uh, company? How did, what website did you search them on? It was actually from a friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, she went on the, the exact same trip last year. How did you get the idea to come to French Polynesia? I actually went back from, uh, had an old friend uh, back from the school. He went here to uh, French Polynesia on a boat oh, okay. as well. For, uh, I think it's, it was in the Corona times, oh. like when the Corona hit. Yeah. So he had to stay here for like uh, more than a year or so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, and it just, uh, it just sounded amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay. This place. And, uh, he was up in Hebo also? Yeah, I think he has been everywhere here oh, in Tahiti. Really? He was oh, like, okay. yeah, in, or in the uh, first Malaysia for more than a year or so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to like Hebo Oa. Yeah. I was up in Marquesas Island in Nukuhiva, and they have big mountains, like up to 4,000 feet, like uh, 1,500 meters. 
So if you go to the top, it's really cool. It's nice and cold. Yeah. And then they have gardens and produce, agriculture up there, and horses too. They got a special type of horse up there too. Yeah. That you'll the find wild out. horses. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So they're pretty nice. You're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> so what are you doing today? Just look, walking around. That's it. I actually don't know. I was just uh, shopping for a sandwich, and then oh, I think maybe I'm going on a trip. Maybe okay, taking good. a bus or something. Okay, not bad. It, uh, the bus station is like that way. Yeah, I walked yeah. by before, and yeah, I think maybe just grab a random bus and see where it <laughs> takes me. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Yeah. You can go all the way as far as Tahiti at the bottom of the island with the bus. Yeah, yeah. but I heard you had to like get home quite early because the buses don't yeah. uh, go that late. Yeah, like four or five o'clock they stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had yeah, to grab the last bus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, well, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Good, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Alright, we're taking the same ferry. I would like to go over there, take a picture of the cruise ship. Okay, let's go. It's gonna be a big rainstorm. Okay, Alright, we're arriving into Morea. Yeah, that's the best part right here. All right, we're arriving. I like this view right here. It looks just like Jurassic Park. And today we got a little cloud cover. I'm gonna go pick up that car rental at Hertz. It's 78 for one day or two days, then it reduces to $65 per day. And then we're gonna go to the juice factory, get some juice, three pineapple juices. And then after that, we're gonna go check into our place and then drive around the island. And then go to the Subaru supermarket. So we might go swimming today too. Oh, this is pretty nice. Arrival into Morea. Check out that rainstorm. There's a lot of truckers over there. They're lining up to catch the ferry out. Alright, we arrived here to Morea, but it's raining. We'll have to stick some shelter over here. <laughs> Man, it is raining and I gotta keep my camcorder safe. Eighty-nine. Alright, we made it back to the beach over here. This is the big public beach that's usually busy on Sundays. Today's a Wednesday, so a little calmer here. Not so much activity going on, but it's right next to Sofitel. And it just rained, so... It's not so hot right now, pretty blue skies and sunny. So we're gonna check out the beach, see how everything's going here first. And then make a decision if we want to go to this beach or the other one. Did you get burned really fast here? Oh well, yeah, we need the uh, sunshine too. Hey, you want a video here? I'm just doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> We're going to Super, this famous uh, supermarket here in Pau Pau. We're gonna <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right, we're coming back to the juice factory. We usually sample juices in the back, and then we buy some up here. What do we have today? We like to get uh, pineapple. That's the pure juice. I like this picture too. Yorana, welcome! All right, mango juice. Mango juice. Mango juice. Secret online. Oh, okay. Yeah, Europe, huh? Uh -huh. Europe in the you States and Canada. Mm, okay. Yeah. Wow. Nice. And when you take the picture, yeah, it's there, better. The, huh? the price online. <laughs> is good. This if you want to know. Yeah. yeah. So we can order this. Okay. That's good. Online, 24 yeah, hours. The first order, 10 percent online. Mm. Take the picture of this. Yeah. The, on your the first code. order. Yes. Can we get uh, three pineapples? Yes, pure juice. <laughs> yeah. Pineapple juice, the best. No sugar no inside. Sugar. It's a pure. Place. You don't. You don't have two liters on this. No. No. Just one liter. Ah, okay. All yeah, right. two liter. It's a thirty percent. This mixed water and sugar. Ah, okay. This is a forty, yeah. forty-two years. Forty-two years. Wow. And then yeah, multi fruits is thirty percent also. Hello, the multi fruit. Yeah. It's not sugar inside. Oh, okay. Just the water and the fruit. It's a 50% minimum. Mm, okay, 50% water. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Nectar de fruit, 100% fruit. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Three, three. We'll get these two. One, two, three. Yeah, one, yeah. two, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the carton making and processing plants is over here. There's all the caps.
Um, There's only three people here. No. No, two. Six. Yeah. We made it back to see a soon restaurant. So we're gonna order some food here. We like this place. <laughs> hey, where's your clock or son? Okay? Okay. Yeah, Three plates? Yeah, here's the poke bowl. Here's the salad. Here's the rice. Is that good? <laughs> Timmy. Timmy, is that um, beach? beach? Yeah. yeah. Okay, no problem. Timmy. All right, so how many minutes? 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>